I am from Buenos Aires, Argentina. My grandmother was a huge inspiration to me because she was always connected with the cultural world and she introduced me into art and she saw in me as a young age that was interesting in this connection with like maybe more like a creative side where all my cousins or my siblings they were a little bit more conservative and I think definitely I had like sad and lonely moments in my childhood and I think that what brought me into the industry is discovering like images and even moving images like films they were like a sort of escape for me to discover this like reality that was not even close to me. Whilst working as film, I really wanted to work with this small agency that I found that they were doing like super interesting stuff. And mostly there was like a cool sense of energy and they hired me. And we have these commercial clients in South America, department stores, and a project came along to shoot in New York. And I fell in love with the city and I knew that what I was doing already, it felt right for me. But when I saw the way things were done here, I was like, okay, this is the place I wanna be. So I went back to Argentina, stayed for a month, quit and moved to New York with no job, <laughs> no visa. <laughs> when I was a kid, my big escape was to follow these photographers. And the, the biggest moments in my career or my life, they were when I was able to work with these people. So I was able to work with a lot of people that I collect books when I was a kid. And that for me, it has, has no price. It's like a full circle. And you see the images for years, years, years of these photographers. And then when you were on set with them, you're like, wow, this is how they create these images. This is how they work. This is how they treat people. This is, they're nice. Actually, the biggest talents of photographers, they're actually the nicest people I've ever worked with. For me, it's at the end, it's always the creative aspect that leads me into also why I do production. I think the creative direction came when I was really involved in the creative process with a lot of these people, big photographers or small photographers. I was really involved in the creative because I have a point of view, I had taste, and I was really into it. I was not like production in the corner, you know, you do your own thing. I was like really involved. And at the end, even big people, big photographers or big creatives, they love to have collaborators. And like the biggest people have like the, the big, a lot of people around them collaborating and they're open to that. And I think that's where it came in. Me not having the experience of working on a big production company as an employee ever, I do things differently, a little bit more human maybe, a little more creative, I treat people always with respect and I just want people to be happy and I love to have the best energy I could on set possible. And I think maybe when you don't have that structure or that like, you know, learning aspect of being in a big production company, you do things your way. So dif different things of, of the business that I was doing at the same time, I think people liked it and people were into it. Um, but it's not for everyone. You know, I think that maybe what makes me different. There's aspect of being an influencer that I do in my business, 100%. But I don't see myself as like a full influencer. I don't have an active strategy to influence people with the work that I do or, or either with the social media aspect of what I post or the endorsement deals I do with brands. I think it's something, as I said, it's organic maybe we'll be like image creator. I don't know, it's something that is always stick in my mind a little bit. Like when people call me an influencer, I struggle for some reason um, because I think it's very one way world. And I think nowadays what we do, it's like more 360. There's so many aspects of what we do social. There's, there's an aspect of myself that I like to make people happy and I like to please and I like to make things happen. That's why when a project comes along and I see the creative and it's a really good creative, I am so inspired to be part of that. And then when you are, you know, you pick up the magazine and you see it there, all I need to know is that like I was part of this world and it just makes me super happy.